just as natural, well, Brutus, you sure is much of a man. And I, for one, wants to compliment you on landing the job. Honey, they're singing the closing song at the church. We've got time. Just train's going to pick me up at the water tank. But you know they're waiting to see you before you go. I sure hate to leave my girl.
Come on, Jones. Here's my buddy. Honey, this is Jeff. Hello, sister. Take tight, Bo, because we're riding right now. Come on. Right. Yeah. But this is too much. He is coming back, ain't he? Well, sure, I'm coming back. You just get yourself a new dress with this, honey. You know, a red one. That's your style. And take care of yourself till I come back now. Come on. Come on. Brushes a dime out of this, you're doing well. And number three here, boy, that's good for hair. Well, what about this one? Number five. A whole section. That's a honeymoon couple. Raise your hand right, it means a long green. Big money, huh? That's what I want to tell you about. You know, there's two kinds of women that ride the Pullman. There's the kind that says, uh, what have you been that don't mean nothing but a tip. Then there's the kind that sings out, Hello there, Jack Johnson. And boy, that means money. No. Yeah, I'm going to show you where to spend it. <laughs> Afraid of what? You know, yes. He's a 
bad act over me. If you ain't got nothing to be afraid of, I can handle that little two-bit quarter. You ought to throw him over anyhow. Then be just you and me. Sometimes I wonder. Wonder what? You gonna laugh? You ain't got nothing to worry about, honey. But you ain't heard the good news yet. I've been transferred to the president's private car. Oh, that ain't nothing. Well, just say you don't make no tips on that job. That's why he didn't take it. There you are. That's the difference between me and Jeff. He can't see no bigger than two bits. Me? I'd just be stepping to my own class on that private car. Harrington, if there is no leak, we stand to clean up millions. That's the idea. Good night. Good night. Good night, Jones. Good night. Anything on your mind, Jones? I've awful worried about that merger. Sure would be bad for us if that news got out. Us? Hmm. How long have you been with me, Jones? Six weeks, sir. Learning fast, Jones. Almost too fast. Got any money, Jones? I got about 300 in the bank. All right. You're in the pool for $300. Thank you, sir. And Jones, sir. I would rather you didn't leave the car until Sunday. Two days solitary, but it'll be worth it. Right? Yes. And, Jones, when we get back to New York, it might be a good idea for you to go back on your old run. There's more room for big men in Georgia. Yes. Boy, you sure was born to wear that oyster front. Where'd you get such a good fit? Well, the boss and me talked it over, and he sent me to his tailor. He said, Jones, you've got a position to live up to now, and you can't afford to be careless in your attire. You and Mr. Harrington must be getting mighty sick. Well, we just pull off a little deal together. I give him some valuable advice. And he said, Jones, you're learning fast. You're getting big. And then he takes me into partnership. But ain't you going back on the Pullman no more? Oh, I'll stick by the job for a few more runs, but uh, things don't seem to be going quite right on that old run of mine. The boss asked me to drop down that way and straighten them out. Well, I guess since you'll be down that way, you'll probably drop in the White House. Oh, that's an idea. <laughs> okay, what are you trying to do, kid me? <laughs> me kid you? Boy, you're a string. Jones, you're getting big. You're learning fast. Then he takes me into partnership. Come clean, big boy. Where'd you get that money? In a crap game? Go <laughs> ahead, laugh some more. You done laughed yourself right over my payroll. Oh, honey, sweetheart, I didn't mean it. I was only kidding. No, you're too funny to live with. Any woman's baggage would get heavier and heavier the longer you tote them. You got to change them to keep traveling light. Here's $40 and goodbye. So he was all set to do this before you come in, huh? Through is through. You heard me. And you can go back to Jeff. He still thinks there ain't nobody like his own Yeah. Well, you ain't the first man who's fallen down without thinking everybody else was a fool. I got eyes. Even if Jeff ain't, you can tell that polecat Belle Ledoux. If she wants to keep on trying to look like Garbo, let her stay out of my way. Slim, sister. <laughs> Known Bill since before she straightened her hair. 
And when she went with Johnson. Where is he now, Belle? Still in jail? Undy, where's your manners? I'm just trying to talk so that poor chap can understand me. Come on, baby. Let's dance. What's the matter with you tonight, Undine? Now, I don't like you acting so to my pal. Your pal? Yeah. Don't make me mad. Well, he's been me at the back for a year. What do you mean? I mean, when I get finished with Bell, he ain't gonna have much left to know. They is crooked. They stand just like him. And here's where I straightened them both. Hey,
I'm going to change your clothes, especially shoes. Island on the way? Oh, just no local, just running express. Kingston. Quite a big city, eh? Now you shout. They got everything. Dance hall, gals. They got telegraph? Cable, you mean, big boy? Sure, they got cable. What's that little island with the white port we've been coming on this afternoon? Nobody about to go that way. Ain't nothing here but trouble. Trouble's my buddy. Say, 
Bo. Watch my door. I ain't going to be long. Well, Your Excellency, the goods has come and I brought you a few samples. First class, just like I said they'd be. Now, here's the figures. 400 cash for the lot. Oh, no. I got the contract this time. The contract, he said, 300. Contract? Well, that's just the blooming point. You see, uh, here it says, except for a hack of gold. Now, I ain't the like of that consignment within 300 miles. And the next boat don't get here for two months. Now, ain't that a hack of gold, self me? Where you get that trash from? On the beach. Where you come from? Come to make trouble on my island. Took this swine. Lock him up and swim when the first boat out. I'll take here. Here, five silver dollars for him. Lock, stock, and barrel. What do you say now? Is it a tribe? Good. Here, wait a minute. Here, bring him here. I won't have a talk with him. Yeah, that's all right. He belongs to me. So that's what it is. A killer, I want. With the law on your trail and the blooming gallows waiting for you around the next corner, what? What are you, white man? I come and I go. And that's my business. <laughs> Not afraid to stand right up to your betters and tell them what's what. You wouldn't be afraid of a bit of a fight, neither, would you? When I fight, there's some minutes. And I don't never fight on no empty belly. Yeah, well, supposing your belly was full and you had a chance to get back at the stinking even what threw you out, what would you say then? And now you're talking, white man. All right. Now you get your rum and you eat. But you don't get a stinking penny. Because I'm a traitor, see? I ain't no blooming missionary. And if anybody worries you, you just tell them you belong to Mr. Smithers. I belong to Mr. Smithers. What's that? Ginger. What's that? Tomato. What's that? Coconut. What's that? 
Ginger. Ginger? What's that? Coffee. Coffee. Well, this ain't regular, but maybe the dice will do. Now, that goes first to the gentleman with the Rolls Royce. All right, talk to him, Bo. What'd I say? Beaver in the South. Beaver South. Ada from the Cater. Ada from Cater. Big dick. Big dick. Ha! <laughs> well, shoot, man. Don't you know what I mean, shoot? All right, the whole pile goes to the gentleman with the Rolls Royce. All right. Gather it in. All yours, buddy. Boy, I'll be just up here in a minute. I'm going after that hat. Tell him roll. Natural. Let me have it, boy. Now, Cracker, what do you say? This whole pile against that Rolls Royce. Ha! Ah, the house is rolling. Now, come on, you galloping dominoes. Come home to Papa and let her ride. Ha! Mine is the gentleman's point. Come on, Ada from the Decatur. Come on. Ha! Even in the South, baby. Ha! The gentleman made his point. Ah, uh, the team is mine, Greco. Let's double up. Better look next Saturday night. <laughs> we play home on for Oh, no. Women is women. And Brutus Jones is true. <laughs> well, I'll see you boys next week. Look them over. Come on, Greco. I'll see you later. <laughs> I wonder what the blazes is keeping that black ape. Oh, 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 where do you think you're going? Well, good morning, Mr. Smithers. You work in here. Well... To tell you the truth, Mr. Smithers, the boys back in the bush seems to like my method. I was thinking to open up a little trading business next door here. Yeah. Cut my bleeding throat, would you? After all I've done for you, too. Is that your idea of gratitude? Oh, well, I was always ready to listen to reason. And while I'm unloading, if I was to hear anybody say something about a partnership, Little it's costing you. 
Makes you feel mighty proud. Send in the treasure. This is my friend. Tell the gentleman the truth now. Does you know how to figure? Yes, Your Highness. Now, you see, I got a figure. Produce the contract. Your bill, Mr. Smithers. Yeah, well, uh, here you are, Your Excellency. Now then, there was a hundred uniforms at five dollars. That's a thousand dollars. There was a hundred rifles at five dollars. A thousand dollars. One cannon was five hundred and the ammunition. Well, it adds up to $4,000, Your Excellency. What does the treasure report? It seems to me that there might be a little error. Oh, well, in here, let me have a look at it. <laughs> we all make mistakes now. Yes, yeah, there is a mistake. I've seen it all along. It's $5,000. There you is, Captain. Check that off and tell it to the boss. Somehow that don't make enough noise. Smith it. Cigarette. Light. an audience with the Emperor Jones.
say. What's that foot?
take your company to the Five Mile Village and burn it off the face of the earth. Then I hooked it. See? 
do your duty. 3.30. Come down to 6.30 or thereabouts. Oh, I've got plenty of time. Make it easy. Now, why don't you be so blasted sure? You'll have to hustle to get through that forest in 12 hours, even if you knew the train is like a bloom of naked. Look here, Wayne, man. You think I was a natural born fool? <laughs> why, I've gone out in that forest so many times for ten of I know it's high and low like a fool. The find on trail of my shut. And I got tin grub sit there on a big white stone where I can find it. Dawn tomorrow, I reach the coast and board that French gunboat. I got to laugh at these fool black trash around here. <laughs> it's so easy. Supposing something happens and they does nap you. I've got five lead bullets in this gun, and after that I've got the silver bullet left to cheat them out of getting me. I tell them when the time comes, I killed myself with it. That's because I'm the only man in the world big enough to get me. And you had a silver bullet, mine, honest? Oh, I sure did. Yes, you be. Five lead bullets in this silver baby at the last. So she shines. Let me see. Keep your hands where they belong, white man. Blimey, you think I was a blast of feet? Oh, take that. I know you're scared to steal from me. We are allowing everybody to touch this baby. She's my rabbit's foot. A sort of charm, eh? Now, blimey, you'll need all your blooming charms before long, help me. Having a war dance in the hills, working up their courage before they start off here. Yes. Let them. They'll sure need it. They're making all sorts of devil spells and charms against your silver bullet. Uh, takes more than that to scare this chicken. Tonight, when it's pitch black in the forest. They'll be sending their pet devils and ghosts hounding after you. You'll find your blooming air will be standing on envy tomorrow morning. It's a mighty queer place that forest is, even in daylight. You don't know what might happen there. It's that rotten still. Always sends the cold shivers down my back the minute I get in it. Go along, white man. You ain't talking to this baby. What ghost in hand's got to do with me? Well, don't you know I was a member in good standing of the Baptist Church? Let them try the heathen tricks. The Baptist Church doesn't protect me. Land them all in hell. Yeah, you ain't paid much heed to your Baptist Church down here. Taking up with them blooming witch doctors. Oh, sure, I pretend. But don't get me nothing to do missionary work for the Baptist Church. I have answered a coin. And I laid my religion on the shelf for the time being. But I ain't got the time to waste no more fool talk with you. I'm going away from here this time. So long, white man. I'll be in jail sometime, maybe. I'll read you, Walter. Here, I ain't going out this way, are you? Think I sneak out the back door? I'm emperor, Dana. The emperor don't leave the way he comes. And that black crack don't dare stop him. Not yet, these ways. Listen for that roll call, will you? Must be a mighty big drum, carry that call. Well, if there ain't no old brass band to see me off, I sure got the drum part of it. So long, white man. Give my regards to any ghost. Well, there I am. In the nick of time, too. Sure. Give me a... Check it out, sure enough. 
That soft emperor chap, she ain't no training for a long hike over that plain in the bright and sun. Cheer up. Wonder they wouldn't get sick of beating that drum. Sound louder, seem like. When did they stop now? To... Oh, sure. They're miles and miles behind. What you getting fidgety about? You know what? Your belly's empty. That's what's the matter with you. <laughs> Nothing but wind on your stomach. Of course you feel jiggity. Well, we eat right here now. White stone, white stone. Wait. <laughs> I hear you. I know this was the white thing. Box of grub, come to me. Ain't she? Have I lost the plate? There's another stone. Look at that. Ain't she? Grub, where is she? You ain't she? Have I got to go hungry in them woods all the day? Can't tell nothing from them trees. Around here, look like they were lost the place, sure enough. Mighty queer. Mighty queer. Woods, is you trying to put some over on me? Who there? Who there? What is it? Get away from me, boy! There you go. That's shot, Lisa. Only little animals, little wild pigs, I reckon. They maybe root it out your grub and eat it. Oh, you fool. What you think they is? Hands? Give the game away when you find it. Shut. Get it. What you scared at? Ain't nothing there but the tree. Get in. The moon right. You hear? You get more light. You see where you squire. Cheer up. Now when you have a snap. It's warm, and that's a fact. How long I've been making tracks in these year woods? Seems like forever. This am a long night for you, your majesty. <laughs> majesty. Ain't much majesty about this baby now. Never mind. It's all a part of the game. This night come to an end like everything else. When you get there safe and have that bankroll in your hand, you laugh at all this. Ain't no hammer on this mountain. Ring like mine, say. Ring like mine. This old hammer, ring like silver, say, ring like silver, shine like gold. Just singing for you, for all the world to hear you. Hear that old Gets near up in the south. They're packing it along with him. I'm going to need a move. What's that other queer clickety sound I hear? Sound like. Sound. I sound like shooting crap. The time I beat it quick when I get them notes. Who there? Who there? Is that you, Jeff? 
Yeah. Oh, sure, I'm mighty glad to see you. They told me them died in the cottages. How you come to be here? Ain't you going to look up? Can't you speak to me? Is you, is you a hand? I killed you dead once. Has I got to kill you again? You take it then! He's gone anyway. Head or no head, that shot makes him. He's getting near. He's coming fast, and here I is shooting shots, let him know just where I is. Corey, I've got to run. Oh, oh, Gary, I scared in this place. Oh, 
Lord, I done wrong. I know it. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Down here, the wedding fool was raised in the up to the skin of mighty. I steal all I could grab. Lord, I done wrong. I know that I'm sorry. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive this poor sinner. Oh. Died in the eyes of sight. 